makes someone truly happy? I've been wondering this for a long time, and several years ago, I was staying in a monastery in southwestern China with some colleagues, and I had a conversation with the abbess, one of the head monks there, and it really made me think about what makes people happy, and I thought I'd share it here today. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine, and author of the health book, Master of the Day. So before we jump in, there are two very important links right below the video. The first is if you'd like to become a patient of mine locally in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine, you can reach out to my private practice and clinic right below this video. And the second is for a free guide, which is four daily rituals that can potentially help you add years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. So as I was passing the abbess one day, I asked her in Chinese, I said, why is it that every time I see you, you always seem so happy? You know, day-to-day -day life here seems kind of boring, to be honest. And she said, looking around, she thought, she gave me a good answer, and then she said, because life is happiness. And later that day, she was describing to our group how she was traveling all over the world, purely because she wanted to see the effect that meditation in those areas had on her body. So she wanted to see the effect that the environment caused internally in her body which I thought was a very interesting, very inwardly directed perspective when it comes to how we feel and what makes us happy. And it got me thinking about a few things. First and foremost, because her life was so inner oriented, right? She lives in a cloistered monastery. It's not a whole lot to do. She's an abbess, she had a shaved head. She was very fortunate to travel, which is rare for a monk, but even then her primary focus was not necessarily sightseeing, it was, how does meditating in Antarctica feel inside my body? How does meditating in the woods near New York feel inside my body? And it's very different from how most of us live. But one particular lesson came to me was that for many of us, we're expecting a kind of state or an endpoint where we'll be happy. It's almost like the flawed logic that people have when it comes to money, that once I make six figures, once I make $200,000 a year, once I make $5,000 extra per month over my living expenses, then I'm gonna be good, right? That internally, I will feel settled or at peace or not stressed. But in reality, everything is in flux all the time. And one of the things that she made me realize was that your finances are in flux all the time. Your health is in flux all the time, right? Your mood is in flux all the time. Your relationship's in flux. You may have had a great year for your health, and a horrible year for your finances. We are stressed about that all the time. Or you may have had a great year for your relationship and a terrible year for your health. Or health is good, finances are good, and your relationship ended. And now you're extremely depressed for the last year because you missed this core pillar of your life. So I think thinking that everything will reach a fixed point where it's all stable and it's all good is just not true. And understanding that things are always in flux and most importantly, being at peace with things in flux, I think is a more pure path to happiness. So I think a little baby habit, right? A little master the day daily habit that has been helpful for me is just saying out loud, I am okay that things are in flux. I am okay that in the last year, my health was good. And for the last month, I haven't slept well. I'm tired all the time. I have lost my close friends. Some have moved, some have gotten married, some have had kids. That relationship's good then you may have a fight with your spouse or finances are great and then suddenly you get a home and now you're stressed for the next 10 years. But just being at peace with flux, right? Being at peace with change, acknowledging that I have a little bit of acid reflux today, it's not a big deal. I have a little bit of debt that I've accumulated in the last two weeks, not a big deal. One of my close friends is leaving the city that I live in. That's terrible, but ultimately, it's just the nature of life to change. And I think understanding that for many of us, being at peace with things always changing is a less neurotic approach to life as opposed to every little health symptom that comes up, oh my God, what is that? I haven't had acid reflux like that in a long time. Why am I not sleeping well? My friends, everyone's leaving me. This kind of neurotic grasping that tends to happen when we're afraid will make you sick on its own. So for me, my lesson from that monk was that things are always changing and internally, if you can view things as it's okay that they're changing, it's okay that they're in flux, it's okay that I don't feel well at the moment, nothing is wrong, it's just the nature of things to change, then you'll be a lot less stressed as you go throughout your daily life. So those are my two cents from this monk in Sichuan province, and I hope they give you some insights or something to think about today. 
But besides that, don't forget to check out that free download below the video. And if you're interested in becoming a patient locally or virtually, you can reach out to my practice right below this video.